Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. Today we're going to learn about the for loop in Python. So, what is a for loop in Python? The for loop in Python is used to iterate over a sequence like a list, tuple, string, or other iterable objects. Iterating over a sequence means going through each element one by one. Let's understand this with a simple example. Let's say we have a long list of items, and we want to print each item from our list to make sure everything is there. So, instead of writing a separate print statement for each item, we can use a for loop to go through the list and print each item. To do this, we can write for i in our list. Here, i is the variable that holds each item in the list. Then, we just write print in bracket i inside the loop. When we run this, it will print each item from the list. Super simple, right? We use a for loop instead of a while loop when we already know how many times we need to go through our list or any other iterable object. We can also use a for loop to print numbers within a certain range using the range function. For example, let's say we're working with a data set and need a specific range of numbers for some calculations. We can do this by writing for i in range and in bracket we will provide our range let's say 100. This will print numbers from 0 to 99 but not 100. That's because the range function in Python starts from the first number you provide, in this case, 0 by default, but stops just before the last number. It's like saying, count up to but not including 100. When I run this, you'll see the numbers from 0 to 99 printed in the terminal. Now if we want numbers from 1 to 100 specifically, we need to provide both the start and end points in the range function. We do this by writing range in bracket 1, 101. When we run this, it prints the numbers from 1 to 100 as expected. All right, let's solve a quick quiz now. The question is, write a program to print the multiplication table of a given number using a for loop. It's a simple program, so let's write it quickly. The problem says we need to take input from the user. So first we create a variable called num and set it equal to int of input in bracket enter the number. This will prompt the user to enter a number. Then, we write our for loop like this, for i in the range of 1, 11. Inside the loop, we print the multiplication result using an f string. When we run this program, it will ask for a number. Let's say we enter 777. After hitting enter, it will quickly print the multiplication table of 777. I hope by now you have a good understanding of how the for loop works with these simple examples. There are two more things to cover, using the break and continue keywords in a for loop, but I've already explained them in the while loop video, and they work the same way in a for loop. So, if you want to learn about them, feel free to check that video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.